there's no way for me to know. Every single run before this, he has gone through, he's gone up to the left. He's going to the right that time. So like, really, that's just like, shit. Well, <laughs> well darn, like, got the skip by the way. I'm happy about that though. And I fuck, I... Yeah, they really butterfly effect out of control. Yeah, it's, it's mean. They are, they are fucked up. So it's, it's really nice to know that, uh... The one section I can't really practice that often, which is the fourth section I can skip, that is huge for our progress. We essentially have the search rooms, which I don't- I'm not too worried about. I've done it a million times to know exactly what I should be doing. But the rooms after that, the uh, random ones are like kind of luck a little bit. I mean, surely we can't be lucky all the time, right? <laughs> Even if, I, I think I can still... Either I get so good that luck doesn't matter and I can just react to everything accordingly and know exactly what to do. Or uh, I don't and I get lucky and I win, so. Honestly, I'd prefer the latter just because uh, it's less runs. However, if I have to like learn exactly how they work inside and out, I think that would be, that'd also be a nice little consolation prize is the fact that I've gotten a lot better at it. I think the other big thing is that finally in this game we have we have done so many different things in this game but finally with with 202 we are reaching an end <laughs> like we have finally managed to like 1A is now done like there is nothing else to do on 1A when it comes to like stuff new stuff we can do 1A is like crossed off, 2A is crossed off, 3A is crossed off, 4A, 5A. You get the point. Once we get the golden strawberries, we don't ever have to go back to like 5A. We don't. There's no point. And that's like enormous. But. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a hot minute. It's gonna take like so long. Drink water. We have believers in the chat, thank you. Gonna not go really hard in this part. These parts aren't hard, so I'm just gonna... These parts aren't hard, and knock on wood, obviously. I'm just gonna relax. I think if I just relax, we will be fine. Kind of let my concentration rest for a second while I'm going through the the less mechanically intense sections. Obviously, it goes down. Should go down and hit that. Yeah. Sick. Got the jump. Like for him to jump here, and then he'll never make it. Any certainty we can win is an intense victory. That is something that's been made abundantly clear in this chapter specifically. Any normalized movement, any sort of segment we can do that's guaranteed to happen every time is a fucking such a boon. It's so important. 
take all of the uncertainty out of these guys and just run, you know? So like, yes, see that works every time. There's no crapshoot here. This is a bit of a crapshoot, but this is fine. Sometimes he'll die there. Usually when I jump there, I'm fine. Jump here and then run for it. This part's always a little bit uncertain because he might aggro from across the room, but he seemed to play nice. All right, I'm gonna shut up now. <laughs> Concentration. for a second. Dio's helping. Good job, Dio. Good job, Thea. I've never done that before, okay. <laughs> okay. You're washed, you're washed, you're washed, you're washed. You have no purpose, you fucking suck. You suck, I win, you suck, I win, you suck, I win. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Come here, fuck you, fuck you. Come here. Come here, come here. What's up, what's up, dork? What's up, dork? I was never gonna fucking die to a door. Easy as hell. Fuck you. 